So Mary, why do you always go on and on and on about the importance of making sure that your bone broth is gelatinous? Well, today I'm going to tell you why. Hi, sweet friends. I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. I'm a former New York City girl, now living the simple life with my sweet husband here in the Texas Hill Country. And this channel is all about cooking from scratch, living naturally, and creating a cozy home with charming thrift store finds. So if you're like me and you want to live the simple life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Bone broth is very nutritious, and even if it doesn't come out gelatinous, it still has a lot of nutrition, lots of vitamins and minerals, and you should definitely drink it. But if you can get to make your broth gelatinous, it's all the better for you. Now I'm going to go over why, but first I just want to talk about storing and the fat and so on and so forth that's involved in the bone broth process. In a previous video, I showed that I was taking the fat off the top of this bone broth, and I've got it right here. I'll just show it to you. Here's the tallow that I took off of this. And as you know from my uh, earlier videos where I show how to make bone broth, I usually defat all my bone broth. I like to defat my chicken bone broth and then decant it and put it in the freezer and then I have it ready for soups and gravies and any other recipes that call for chicken broth and in my case chicken bone broth. But with beef bone broth I do things a little differently. I like to uh, decant, I like to defat it and then I decant it into these half gallon jars and I put it in my fridge. Now, the reason I do that is because we drink this every morning for breakfast. And I'll, what I'll do is, one will have zero fat on top because we'll be using it the next day, and then the second one will have a layer of fat on it that I actually pour back on with some of the fat that I've removed in the defatting process. And the reason that I do that is to just keep this fresh because it makes a nice airtight seal while we're using up the first half gallon. But now that I've explained all of that, I want to get into why I always talk about making it so gelatinous. And the reason is, and first and foremost, I'm going to show you this gelatinous broth. And I'm just scooping some out here to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now I've actually, I took this out of the free refrigerator about a half an hour ago, so it's even softening up a little. But this is what I wanted to show you that you're looking for when you make bone broth. You want to get it nice and gelatinous. So I hope you can see this. And, uh, I took a picture with my phone. So you can see how gelatinous is. It's very jelloey. It's been out of the fridge for a little while now, so it's uh, getting a little watery. But I hope that you can, because that's what happens once you, you start to warm up the jello, and, or the jello, the bone broth. That's uh, what makes it really nice and very nutritious. So as I had said earlier, bone broth is nutritious. But why the emphasis on it being gelatinous, as I just showed you that this bone broth is? The reason is, it's the gelatin in the bone broth that is so important and so healing for us. A few things that it's credited with doing is nourishing our joints, which would make sense, and making to our, our skin to plump up a little and, and look a little less wrinkled. But the most important thing is that the gelatin in bone broth is very good at healing and just taking care and soothing our gut. We hear a lot about this today from scientists and in the news and so on and so forth about how important it is to nourish our gut. And the gelatin in bone broth helps nourish our gut. And why do we want to nourish our gut? The reason is when we nourish our gut, it, it allows a, a nice environment for the good bacteria, the flora that we all hear about, to flourish. And when the good bacteria in our gut is flourishing, it improves our overall health. Because we hear from scientists all the time that the more good gut bacteria we have, often the healthier we can be. So the reason I strive to always try to get my bone broth as gelatinous as possible is because I really want to nourish my gut and make a nice environment for the good bacteria and try to be as healthy as I can. So if you'd like to learn more about how to make your beef bone broth gelatinous, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make beef bone broth from start to finish and gelatinous. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.